First, let's take a look at the base model iPhone 16, which we have here in teal. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not usually a fan of bright colors on phones, but I was just kind of curious to see how the colors turned out this year. First glance, I do think this is a really good looking phone, really well made. The teal in particular, I think is a really nice color, I guess. The back is this nice matted, smooth, material but the apple logo itself is actually quite glossy and putting my finger across it now i can see that it will get fingerprint marks etc so probably over time if you don't have a case on this you will scratch that apple logo quite a bit all right cool so switching this thing on look to be honest the main things that you, you want to check out with this new phone is definitely the camera right so straight away there's this thing that pops up around photographic styles oh damn actually this is a lot more customizable than I was expecting. You can kind of swipe through these filters, let's call them filters, and there's a panel at the bottom that lets you customize it further. So it really simplifies the customization process of photographic looks or filters or whatever you do want to call them. I'd actually say the, the camera capabilities of this year, especially the base model, is one of the, the, the best things about the 16th generation of iPhone for sure. The base model in particular has some really interesting features that I thought you'd only find on the Pro models. It's really impressive that the base model can shoot at 4K 60 as well as 30 and 24. What 4K 60 means is 60 frames per second. So if you're filming something, the footage that comes out is kind of a lot smoother. I guess another thing we want to look at here is definitely the new camera button. All right, cool. So you click once and it goes to camera. Oh, you hold it down. It does do the whole slide to zoom in thing. It's quite cool. Okay, what's nice about it is that it doesn't kind of flip all the way through your focal lengths. So there's quite a lot of control here. I will say though, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of this button and I actually prefer just like using your thumb on the screen like that. I think we're just gonna move on, to be honest, to the iPhone 16 Pro. See, already this feels, yeah, this feels more weighty. Like even just in the box, the box just feels like there's more heft to it. So the biggest thing with the 16 Pro that's different from a kind of build quality perspective is the materials. Titanium, of course. So straight away picking up the phone, you can feel it's a lot heavier. It feels a lot more durable. I'm not saying that you should go throwing this phone around because it probably will break, but it just feels like a lot more sturdy. Build quality of the iPhone 16 Pro as opposed to the 16, as soon as you pick up the phone, it feels different. That's not to say that the base model 16 quality is bad. In fact, if you're not directly comparing it to the Pro model, this feels great. This really, really does feel great. But when you pick up the 16 Pro, it's different. The weight's different, the grip's different. Like, it just feels like a much more refined, durable phone. Cool, so setup done. Brightness of the iPhone 16 Pro is great. The smoothness of this display is really, really nice. Again, it's really nice when you compare it to the base model. The base model's smoothness is fine like you don't need the promotion extra hertz smooth display like it's fine it's just if you're used to a smooth display sometimes it's difficult to go back but if you're not used to the smooth display trust me just don't open that can of worms i'm going to jump straight to the camera so the pro model we get the one times the two times and the five times zoom which is cool which is good and of course we can also use this fancy new button up here I feel like I've got so much shit to say about this camera button because I just don't like it. Opening up the iPhone 16 Pro and kind of using it properly, like at home, this phone feels the same <laughs> as last year's iPhone 15 Pro. And right now, would I upgrade my 15 Pro to the 16 Pro? No. If I'm gonna be brutally honest here, I'm really not blown away by the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro. It's definitely way too early for me to be saying this, but if you were to ask me right now in this moment, would I recommend getting an iPhone 16? No, I'm gonna be honest, no. I'd say get an iPhone 15 Pro or get the base model iPhone 16. That's what I'd say. Do subscribe, because I promise usually my content isn't as chaotic as this. All right, I need to, I need to we need to wrap this up. Peace.